Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have an interesting do-it-yourself tutorial today on this really cute little uh, car seat canopy for baby. So if you're interested in learning how to make this cute little car seat canopy and it is a super easy do-it-yourself tutorial, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so what I've done so far is just cut my material and get my stuff ready on the side here. So what I have is two-sided material. I have this soft uh, felt, and then I have this chevron material, and I have them faced right side together. I've already pinned them. Um, I was just using some leftover material that I had. So mine is not the perfect size. I went ahead and laid it out over my car seat and it works. I'm just going to have to be really, really careful with my sewing. Um, so what I've done is measured it out and mine measures 29 inches by 40 inches. And really you probably want it to be more like 32 by 45. Um, if you are already going out and getting your material. So I pinned it all the way around right sides together. And what I did was left this part pinned sideways so I know that I'm going to start here with my sewing. So all the way around the length, come back, stop here and leave this open. That way we can turn it right sides out, pull it together and sew this shut. So I've also measured what I had left of the scrap. It's a uh, about seven inches by three inches, and this is what we're going to use to wrap around the car seat and make the handles. I've got two pieces of that, and then I've got some Velcro. You can also use buttons, whatever you would like to secure it, and then my pins. So what we're going to do, I've got my mat underneath here, and my sewing machine ready to go. So we're just going to sew lengthwise around the entire project, and then we'll be right back for the next step. Okay, so I have started at my two sideways pins and sewed all the way around the length of the, the car canopy. And then when I got to the end, I stopped at this pin. I backstitched when I started and then when I ended. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out, well, we got to cut this little bit of stuff out here. We're going to take out all the pins all the way around the fabric. We're going to trim off any little edges that we might have. As close to the seam, I would, you know, leave a little bit. Don't get too close to it. It's not that big of a deal. And then we're going to reach our hand inside this hole and we're going to pull it right side out. So let me work on that and I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, so I removed all my pins and trimmed around my edges, and now I'm just looking for that open spot. Get that out of the way. And here it is. So I'm going to open it, stick my hand in there, go all the way through the edge, find one of the corners, and then I just like to pop it through and pull it out. And just pull all the right sides out through that hole. Make a big jumbly mess at first until you get it all together. And then I just like to shake it out, find my corners here. And don't worry about them not being pulled through all the way. I'm gonna show you a trick for that if you don't already know. So now that it's pretty much right side um, facing out, where did my hole go? Here's my hole. I'm going to take a pencil, or in this case, I have an eyeliner because I'm at my vanity. It's my vanity slash craft table. I'm just going to stick it in there and poke the corners out. You can also drag it along the edge, and it kind of makes the edges crisper. And just poke that out. And all the way to the other two corners. Just 
drag it along those edges to make them crisp and poke the corners out. Okay, now we're gonna do, and I found a little boo-boo here. I have a little extra gap that I missed in this. So what I'm gonna do when I sew this together is instead of just sewing it from here, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it from the entire edge, one corner to the other. It's gonna close both of those gaps and it's just gonna give it a little bit more polished of a look. So if you can um, go through here and you can pin your edges if you would like. I kind of eyeball it. So it's really whatever you're more comfortable with. So just kind of push those together so they're nice and crisp. Corners and edges there. So you don't have a lot of material poking underneath. If you have an iron handy, you can press that. That makes it easier for you. Like I said, I just kind of eyeball it. I start at the front and I'm gonna do one long seam, pushing my corners, or I'm sorry, my edges in to close those two little holes as I go. So let's go ahead and start. And I'm gonna get that pretty close to the edge so that we catch those seams. So I'm gonna start with a back stitch and end with a back stitch just so I close. I'm just gonna kinda go along until I get right up into that first little hole. And I'm just going to press it under. You might have to lift your little foot to do that. And I'm just going to kind of hold that together and sew over. Get as close as you can so you really close up. And then I'm coming up pretty close to this gap that we left open. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of fold those edges together and then pinch them and hold them tight. And then just sew as close as possible. Okay, so now I've sewn all that. I'm just going to continue down the edge. just back stitched a little bit. Oh, looks like I ran out of thread in my lower bottom. So let me pause you so I can finish that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I just finished that sewing that edge. So now we have everything sewn together, white on one side and chevron on the other. We're going to set that aside for a second and we're going to work on our pieces for our handles. So all we're going to do is make sure right sides are together here. You're going to pin your end, only one. Mine doesn't line up perfectly because it was just scrap pieces, so don't mind that. We'll trim it off. And then you're gonna leave this end open and that's so that we can pull it right sides together. So just sew a really thin line around your piece. Let's do that the same thing. The other piece, fold it right sides together. Just kind of pin it just so it holds. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy here. Once we pull it right side together, it's gonna look polished. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get those together. So what we're gonna do is just start. We're gonna leave our one end open. And we're just gonna sew down the long edge.
remove your pins, trim your string, and trim your edges. Now I'm going to leave this edge with a little bit of space. I'm not going to trim all the way. This one was pretty janky looking, so I am going to trim that up a little just so it doesn't look all crazy when we go to turn it inside out. So little trick is if you just kind of pop this together, and this is the end that we sewed close, take your scissors or pencil really or anything and just kind of push it together there. And what we're trying to do is create a little pocket. We're going to use that pocket to push this inside out. And now it's right side out. Same thing, you can grab your scissors or a pencil or eyeliner, whatever you have handy, and just push those corners out so they look nice and sharp. And then all we have to do now is press our corners in. However, is easiest for you. I just like to press it all kind of down in on itself until you have a little crisp line here. And then we're just going to sew straight across there. This one's a little uneven. Okay. And then we're just going to sew that shut so we have one little strip. And now we have the clasp that we're going to Velcro and sew on, and that's going to be the handle that hangs on to our car seat handle. So just do the same thing with this guy, and then I'll be right back to show you how we're going to place that. Okay, so we're back. I moved you into baby's room, and we got our two straps and our cover, and I brought a purple eyeliner with me. That's Kai. Kai, get out of here. So we're going to do, so we're going to lay this how we want it on the car seat. And you can see Kai's doing a yoga stretch for you. Out. You can see that mine is a little bit short, like I was saying, because I just kind of used scrap material. But go ahead and fiddle around with it and place it where you want it to lay. And this is where we're going to find out where we want our straps to lay. So for mine, I have it covering here. It looks to be about the same on both sides. And this is where I'm going to want my straps to clip. So I'm just going to make a little dot. And we're going to do about the same spot, a little dot. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew these straps on right here, which are going to clip with a little piece of Velcro or a button, whatever you choose to use. Once they're secured on, it's going to hang like this on both sides. And that's what's going to keep it up off of baby's face. So after you make your marks, let's just go sew those on. Okay, so we're back at the sewing machine. I've got my two little perfect, perfect, what am I talking about? Purple dots, and we've got our straps. So what I did was just folded my strap in half. I'm going to lay it like right on the middle there and unfold it. And I'm just gonna like pin the side down so I know about where I want to sew. 
Same thing here. Fold it so I know where the middle is. Line it up with my purple dot. Pin it in so it sticks and I know about where my middle is. And then what I'm gonna do is just sew a line straight down there to secure these on. Nothing too fancy. So, start here. I'm gonna back stitch, stitch, stitch. And then I'm gonna back stitch back over it and forward stitch again. I'm gonna lift this up, <clears throat> go to the next one. Lay that down. Same thing. Back stitch a little. Back stitch. Forward stitch. Now it's nice and secure. And what you can do is just cut your little threads off here so that you can release it from the machine. We're going to take our pins out. Now that they're sewed on. We're going to trim our threads off. And we're almost done. It's pretty easy peasy. Backside too. I just have a little piece of thread to cut off here. And then we're going to place our Velcro. So this is where it's going to sit on on the car seat handle, just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch, and this is my sticky Velcro, so it's gonna stick like this. So I'm gonna place this one here. I'm gonna place the soft side on top of that. Roll it over to exactly where it will be placed and stick those together. Now, I'm going to need to sew over that, but for me, whenever I try to use the sewing machine, I find that the needle gets stuck in that sticky part and it doesn't work right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hand stitch the corners and reinforce them so that it is stitched down. So one more time. Stick this down here. your soft side on top of it. Measure up where that one's going to sit and press it down. This is our last step. So what I'm going to do is take a needle again and I'm just going to stitch the four corners of the Velcro down just to reinforce them. This is probably fine with the stickiness but you know I always like to just double reinforce so that you don't end up later having a headache on your hands. So I'm going to pause you while I stitch that together and then we'll be back. Okay, so finished sewing on the Velcro and now we're just going to test it out. And voila, we have our little car seat cover. Not too hard, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about subscribing. I really appreciate all your support. And we'll see you next time.